This is Jochen from Afalterbach and welcome to our very special car that I'd like to show to you today. It's the Formula One medical car. It's our AMG GT 63S Formatic Plus and I'm sure you are ready for a walk around. So follow me. So first of all, you may wonder, what's the purpose of a medical car? It's not replacing an ambulance car, but the purpose here is to make sure that the medical staff is right at the spot at the very earliest possible time. And it also protects the people working at the accident scene. Very special for us, for the first time, the medical car is based on our GT63 four-door. Uh, why is that? Uh, well, if you keep in mind, it's 99% a serial car. And if you look at the numbers of the car, 639 horsepower, 3.2 seconds from a 0 to 100 kph, top speed 318 kilometers per hour, well, I guess that's enough for a medical car. At the beginning of the race, the medical car is based behind the race cars. Why is that? At the opening loop, when the race starts, the likeliness of an accident is very high. So, and because we have all-wheel drive, we can make sure that this medical car can go very safe and quick behind the race cars. So if, in case there is an accident, the medical experts are right at the spot. So here comes the first obvious difference to the serial car. It's this carbon-based light bar here, and you can see some antennas. By the way, this antenna in front here, that's exactly the one that you have on the Formula One cars. So of course, the purpose here is having some flashlights for the race car drivers, but also what we do here, we use the aerodynamics here to increase the downforce and the balance of the car because what you see here in the back is our serial wing blade and it's adjusted right to address the flow that comes from the light bar such that we have enough downforce for the vehicle at top speed. So here comes the second big difference to the serial car. If we open the trunk, first of all, you see these flashlights here. The obvious reason for that is the safety once you open the trunk. But also if you look into the trunk, you see here all the wrecks. That's important to safely transport all the medical equipment. And of course you have here two fire extinguishers. You may wonder why it is empty. Well, the medical staff brings the up-to-date medical equipment right just before the race and puts it into the car. We are very proud that since 1996, Mercedes AMG is providing the medical car for all Formula One events. So let's hop inside. So welcome inside the Formula One medical car. As I said before, it's basically a serial GT63 with some minor changes. First of all, we have a key holder here because we are not locking a Formula One medical car. So we have to make sure that the key is positioned safely inside the car. You can see I have a six point belt here. There's another one up here. We have race seats. We have four point seat belts at the rear. At the spot where you are right now, normally there would be Dr. Ian Roberts, chief medical experts of the Formula One. And we also have at least one or sometimes two medical experts, local ones at the rear. And keep in mind the heavy medical equipment that we put into the trunk. So this is car is fully loaded. And you know, AMG cars are made for race tricks, but this car fully loaded, going at high speed behind a bunch of Formula One cars. That's a challenge even for an AMG car but we make sure that this car with four-wheel drive drives safely and quick enough at all times. Further differences to the serial car are these buttons here. So the white one controls the flashlights, the yellow one controls the light bar on the rooftop. The green one is once Formula One cars would be allowed to pass the medical car. Usually that doesn't happen. And the blue one, that's the siren. The buttons here, they control the radio. So there's one for the driver and one for Dr. Ian Roberts. So the next major difference to the serial car are these screens up on here. On the far right one, the teams in here will see the broadcast live from the Formula One. So they will see exactly the same pictures that we do at home in front of the television. Up on here, the medical experts, they will see the racetrack itself with all the cars on it. 
And then we have this electronic rear view mirror where we can see everything that happens behind the medical car. Another small difference, but still fascinating detail are these marshalling lights here. So what they do, they show all the colors of the flags that the marshals are waving right next to the track. But in the medical car, we have an additional feature. If something happens, they will flash. So the team in here knows, oh, something happened. But how do they know that something happens? Well, all Formula One drivers are wearing special gloves with sensors in it. These sensors, they measure the heart rate and the oxygen saturation of each driver. So this data is brought into the car, but if this gloves sees a certain G-force, then, you know, these Martian lightings will flash and the team knows something happened. That's about it, about the interior of our new Formula One medical car. I hope you enjoyed the walk around. And as you know, AMG, there's more to come. So stay tuned, stay healthy, take care and see you. Bye.